We successfully completed a pilot program with our longtime uh, partner, Brattleboro, Vermont, at the end of last year. We also had friends up here in Bellows Falls who had been following and seen the dryer operating in Brattleboro and were very interested to see if we could bring that unit up here. So what we did is we put together a package, did the evaluation of the flow and the type of products they were making here and put it all together and within about six weeks we actually had the dryer physically on site and installed and ready to go. And we've been making dried biosolids here for approximately four and a half weeks. My name is Josh Kemp. I've been here for 13 years. I have a grade one license and I have a grade one in uh, laboratory. From beginning to start, we have RVC facility. We produce around 350 wet tons a year, anaerobically digested. And the service area we provide is Town of Rockingham, Walpole, and North Walpole. Historically, we were going to Claremont, New Hampshire, disposing of our sludge, and it was getting composted and reused. Um, two years ago, they had a process stop in New Hampshire, and it caused us to go to Coventry, Vermont. And now our cost of our sludge disposal has tripled. With this Cinchy dryer that we are now using, this will cut our costs quite a bit. I feel that the cost of bringing the sludge to landfills is going to be not only uncost effective, it's going to be odorous, and there's going to be other issues that are going to cause places to close down fast. The Cinchy technology was pretty much a no-brainer, but the cost effectiveness of drawing it, we're now filling one dumpster compared to four dumpsters in a week. The beneficial reuse of being able to use this drying product on farms is going to be 100% better than putting it in a landfill and wasting the opportunity to use a nitrogen. I think that the Cincinnati dryer is the way to go. I mean, a lot of plants need to re really consider having that process put in and have it looked at.